Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel. In this video we will discuss, Com Voltage Duplication Tool, Simulate DTB. Please, like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. In this video, we will use Simulate DDB option with SIDB2 tool, to evaluate the disk on which we plan to host the deduplication database. Before we proceed, let's discuss the hardware requirements for hosting the deduplication database. Use the following table, to calculate the storage requirements for disk storage, and cloud storage. CPU and RAM requirements for the server. Disk layout for the operating system. This is the deduplication database disk requirements. Depending upon the requirement you need to plan the disk storage. SSD class disk storage is recommended to host the deduplication database. Supported number of DDB disk for the selected amount of storage. Once the disk is selected, use the simulate DDB tool, to determine the size of the data and the DDB that can be hosted on the disk. Let's review the setup in our example. We have assigned drive letter F, to the DDB. In this drive, we will create a new directory called, DDB test. This directory will be used for DDB simulation test. If you notice, we already have a DDB directory, which was created when we configured the duplication in Convault. Let's check the contents. CV underscore ZB is the place where your DDB resides. If you are not aware then the Comvault DDB is made from, Ctree database. You can google about Ctree for more information. FCS extension belongs to Ctree database. IDX and DAT are the database files. Let's begin our simulation test. Open command prompt with admin privileges. Run SIDB2 help command. This command can be used for various use cases. Dumping SIDB process dump for analysis. Simulate DDB performance is the option we will be using in some time. Syntax of the command, and these are the parameters that can be used. You can compare two DDBs. Reindex DDB. Compact DDB, if it is large. Calculate archive file size, like archive logs. Convert lower version of DDB to higher version. Validate DDB. Let's review the syntax and options that we will be using here. This is the syntax. Simulate DDB is the keyword. Option P, is the path where the duplication database will reside during simulation. Use option E, to open existing DDB. IN, is the software instance. Data size, is the front-end application data size to simulate. Threads. Represent the number of simultaneous threads accessing DDB. D ratio is the expected deduplication ratio. Block size is the dedupe block size to be used for simulation. T limit is the query and insert time in microsecond. Clean DDB to delete the files that are created during simulation process. No prune sim to disable pruning simulation with a DDB simulation. Out file is the path where you wish to export the results to. This would be our final command to run. Based on the options chosen, this is the result. Please note, the average Q and I times should never cross a maximum of, 1200 microsecond. If it does then the DDB is performing low, and reasons might vary. In our simulation, the disk is capable of hosting a DDB for these values, 
so ensure the hardware requirements we discussed earlier, are chosen wisely. We can perform the same tests, using the GUI tool as well, let's use it and test. Browse to the base directory. Look for sidb underscore sim executable jar file, and open it. sidb simulator. We need to choose the type of simulation to continue. Let's test both at a time. Select, determine max data handled by the dedupe database, for given threshold query response time. Browse and select the directory to use for simulation. If you want then you can use existing DB as well. Once done, click continue. We discussed each of these options, a while ago. Select the options, and values as desired to test. Once done, click next. Said B will be simulated with the following chosen parameters. Review the options, and click start to run the simulation. This might take a while, as per the chosen options, and set values, so please be patient. Simulation completed successfully. This is the graphical representation of the test results. This is the complete simulation statistics. This is the average time for last 10 operations. Do note, Q and I average, should always be below 1200 microseconds. Let's perform the other test. Launch the simulator. Select, determine the average query response time, for given application data size. Choose rest of the options, as we did before. Review the options, and click start to run the simulation. This might take a while, as per the chosen options, and set values, so please be patient. Simulation completed successfully. These are the results, for the average query response time, for given application data size. From our test, we see the data size that this DDB can handle, is only 95 gigabytes. Blocks managed is 98,000, with average Q and I time of 10 microseconds. We will end this video here. Do subscribe to our channel for more videos, if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos.